Okay, it says give the slope of each line and then determine whether the two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Now since we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, uh, let's make note of something here. We, If two lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. And if two lines are perpendicular, then their slopes uh, are reciprocals of each other, and they have the opposite sign. Uh, and another way to say that, or in, in a more concise way, is to say that if two lines are perpendicular, then their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And just remember, that just means that if one of the slopes is two-thirds, then the other slope would have to be the reciprocal, which is three halves, and it would have to be at the opposite sign, so it would be negative. So these two sl slopes would indicate that the, these two lines would be perpendicular. Now to tell what the case is with these two uh, lines, we need to find the slope of each one. And that's easy enough to do. We find the slope of each one by putting it in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Because once it's in that form, m is the slope. So we take the first equation. Negative 5x plus 4y is equal to 8, and we write, and we write it in that form. We do that first by adding 5x to both sides. And we add 5x to both sides of this equation, we get 4y is equal to 5x plus 8. And then we divide everything by 4, we get y is equal to 5 over 4x plus 8 over 4, which is 2. We're not that interested in the 2, what we are interested in is the slope. The slope of this line is 5 over 4, the slope of the first line. Now we do the same thing for the second line, which is negative 20x plus 16y is equal to 0. Uh, we add 20x to both sides. We get 16y is equal to 20x. Divide both sides by 16, and we get y is equal to 20 over 16x. And then we can reduce that fraction. 20 over 16 is 5 over 4 x. So here the slope is 5 fourths. Well, the slopes are the same. Therefore, these two lines are parallel.